Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, x.e.l.o. And today what I wanna do is go over how to actually create hi-hat rolls inside of Reaper. I know a lot of people have actually asked this uh, in several comments that I've gotten. So I wanted to break it down, a complete video of just showing you how to use the MIDI editor to make piano roll hi-hat rolls. <laughs> so without further ado, Let's get started. All right, so here we are in Reaper and this theme is called Reaper Tips. So I'm gonna kind of make this uh, as simple as possible so you guys can kind of follow along. So I'm gonna make a two bar loop. So that's how I'm gonna start this. Let's make a two bar loop and I am going to add a hi-hat. If you haven't downloaded my smash kit, it is available for free. The link should be below in the description of this video. So I'm just gonna use one of the hi-hats from there. Uh, and I can double click to make it into a sampler, All right? So I have my hi-hat on here and I'm going to add a MIDI item. So there's several ways to do a MIDI item. I'm just gonna double click in here to make one. So now as you see down here in the piano roll, I am ready to actually start putting notes in. All right, so before we get started, if you want to actually have your piano roll set up the same way that mine's is currently, I have a Cakewalk to Reaper reconfiguration file that you can actually download from my website. Uh, it's about $12 right now. If you actually want to do that, it will have all the same setups that I have currently, and I'm going to show you in this video. So let's continue. All right. So in order to add a note, you know, you can just double click and it'll add a note inside of the piano roll here. So let's say you wanted to, uh, drag across and just have like all your, your notes on the same line. You could do a control and alt. And this will allow you to kind of drag across. And even if you go off, you can still kind of bring it back to where you want it to be, right? And that is control and alt on your keyboard, right? So, but let's say you didn't want to do that. Let's say you wanted to actually have it do like those weird uh, setups. You can go and hold down shift and alt. And this will also allow you to kind of put your hi-hats where you want it to be. So if it's not on the grid completely, you can actually move it to where you kind of want it to be, right? So I can do, right? And that is with shift and alt, and these are defaults inside of Reaper. So um, I usually just use the control and alt just to kind of drag across so I can have my hi-hats in order. So now I have my hi-hats on here going to the one eighth grid. So if I play it back, Right? Simple. Everybody should kind of be able to do that uh, part of it. So if you did want to split any of these notes, what you can do is go to the grid. I have my grid up here. So if you do purchase that Cakewalk one, you'll have the same grid. You can click on this grid right here to the 1 16th. And now we are in 1 16th. So if you didn't have this up here, you can always go down to where you have your grid right down here and actually change it to whatever you want it to change it to. But I think it's a little easier to, to make it inside the toolbar. Uh, a toolbar is very, very important to me. I, I really like uh, that I can kind of just click on things to have it inside the toolbar, you, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to, right? So let's say we wanted to split this note in half, right? So we can go here and click with our cursor. And now we have the cursor there and we can hit S on the keyboard and that will allow us to split that note. Right. So now when you hit S, as you can see, it'll split that note. Um, and if I wanted to split it here, I can go here hit S on the keyboard and it'll split the note. I can go here, hit S on the keyboard and that'll split the note. So that is the basics of how to actually split notes inside of the piano roll. Another way to do this is to hold down shift and hold down S on your keyboard and wherever your mouse is pointed, will actually cut and it'll make this interesting uh, sign here. So if I would drag across, I can still just cut however the grid is set up. So if I wanted this one to be a tighter grid, if I let's say go 132, right? So if I go in here and hold down shift and move my mouse wheel, it'll cut according to whatever the grid is, right? So now you'll have, and you have that option to do rolls that way, uh, if you wanted to set it up that way. So you don't have to do it this way, but I think it's really easy to do it and set up this way by just holding shift and S 
in order to do the note cuts. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of back all those out. So you may say that, you know, you don't really want to do it that way, but you want to split it by the grid. Reaper does give you an option to split by the grid. So you don't have to actually do any of these other ones by hitting like the S on here or uh, holding shift and S. So let's say I want uh, this one. Um, I'm gonna hold down control to click another note, this one and say this one, right? So we have three different sections and Right now the grid is set to 132. So I have an option on here that says split notes. Um, this is a script that you can actually set up inside of Reaper. It comes standard inside of Reaper. So if you wanted to actually use this, you can set it up inside of your toolbar, really, really easy. Or I have also have mine set up to do control and U on the keyboard. So if I hit control and U on my keyboard, it'll split the notes. If I click on this, as you see, it'll split the notes to whatever the grid is set to, right? So I'm gonna control Z and take that off. So let's say I wanted to do um, some thirds, right? So I want some triplets instead of doing it uh, straight, right? And I hit the split notes. Now it's in thirds, as you can see here. So this gives you the option to do that really easy um, and to set that up, like I said, you will want to just go to your actions. So I'm gonna hold down shift and hit the question mark on my keyboard. This will bring on my actions. Make sure you are in the MIDI editor, right? And basically you just type in split note, right? And this one right here is split notes on grid. So you can make this into a shortcut, like you are, you could use this inside of your toolbar or you could create a shortcut for it. Mine's is control U because I came from FL Studio and I always like the fact that I can just hit control U to cut things inside of FL Studio. So I brought it over to Reaper. And that's one of the main features that I really love about Reaper. I can just bring different shortcuts wherever I want to uh, inside of the DAW, right? So if you wanted to do that, you just, you know, click on it and you just hit add and you'll be able to press whatever keys you want to to have it to wherever you want it to be set up. But like I said, once again, if you didn't want this configuration, I do have a cakewalk to Reaper configuration file that you can actually purchase from the website. All right, so let's go back to the 116th. And what's really cool is that the Reaper community has people who actually create scripts. There is uh, Eric Martinez, he actually made some really, really cool scripts to help inside of the media editor. Um, I believe Reaper tips, uh, Alejandro was the one who kind of set it up inside of the Reaper community. He asked a question and someone actually created a script for what he wanted. He wanted to do the same thing that the new Ableton was doing, where you can kind of use your mouse wheel to change some of the notes inside there and make it like triplets and, and split the notes really easy just by using your mouse wheel. So he created this script. All right. And there will be a link below in the description where you can actually go to his GitHub and actually download this script as well. So I'll leave that below uh, in the description of the video. You, you have to have RIA scripts installed on your computer in order to actually use it. So if you don't not sure how to actually use RIA scripts, I have a video showing you how to set up uh, SWS in RIA scripts inside of your Reaper. So if you want to do that, I have a video showing you how to do that as well. But you can actually go up here to your uh, extensions once you have RIA pack installed. Go to RIA pack, go to import repository, right? And basically you just copy and paste that link that's in the video right in here and then hit okay. And it'll be this one right here that has the Eric Martinez. And this will give you a couple of really cool tools that you can actually use inside of Reaper, right? And basically you just install that. And if you have any issues actually getting it set up, like I said, I have a video showing you how to set that up as well. So with his scripts, I actually have here where I can do arpeggiators, arpeggios inside of the piano roll really easy. And of course you have this velocity option. So you can change the velocity of things, but he also has a script where you can manipulate or split up the notes by using your mouse wheel. 
So if I hold down control and shift, this is what I have mine set up to. And I move my mouse wheel up or down, or should I say up, it'll actually split the notes. So I can go by one, I can go by two, I can go by three or four. So it'll split the notes however you kind of want them to be. And as you can see, I can do all of them at the same time. I don't have to just do one at a time. So whatever is highlighted will actually get those cuts on there. And I thought that was really cool. So let's say that we did, we just wanted the one on here, right? Just this one split. And if you hold down, if I hold down control shift and alt, these are the shortcuts that I set up for it. I can actually get it off the grid. So I can move this off grid. As you can see, it's moving all of them off grid. I can move them off grid by using my mouse wheel. So I'm using my mouse wheel to move this around. And I thought that was super, super cool uh, that he gave you that option to do that on there. All right. So let's say that we did want to actually make some uh, piano rolls in here or some, some hi-hat rolls. So let's do the control and shift. I'm just going to kind of make like uh, a couple of them in here. Let's go to this one. And let's go here. Kind of go give it a really long kind of a hi hat roll here, right? So let's say I wanted the velocity to be different. He has a really nice uh, tool here for velocity. Uh, as you can see, it gives you an option to kind of randomize the velocity. So you can go and randomize it. And it'll randomize those uh, options down there at the bottom. Um, and another cool thing is you, if you want to do like a linear one, he has like this grid here where you can kind of move things around. So if I wanted to move all of them, as you can see, I can move them however I kind of want to in here. And he also has, if you right click in here, you can do uh, interpolation. So I can go linear and make it like a straight line going up, right? You have a sign, right? And you could also do it going the other way. So really, really cool um, options that you have in here to do your hi-hat rolls. I thought that was really, really cool. So if you can even uh, manipulate it this way as well and kind of still have it to where you can move even the linear lines, I thought I think that's really, really cool. And like I said, all this is with his scripts that he has. And if you want to get it set up like this inside of your Reaper, I, like I said, I do have some available on the website where you can download it. All right. So now um, I have some hi-hats set up in here and I can just kind of go and play it back. And that my friends is how you can do hi-hat rolls inside of Reaper. Like I said, I just, I just wanted to make this kind of quick video showing you guys how to actually do that. If you have like any questions or concerns, please leave them below in the comment section of this video. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, make sure you're sharing this with your friends as well who want to uh, venture into using Reaper. I think these uh, videos will definitely help them out uh, tremendously. If they are coming from another DAW, such as like FL Studio or Ableton, uh, this will help them inside of the piano roll uh, tremendously. And like I said, throughout the video, if you did want to actually get the Cakewalk to Reaper set up, uh, I do have it available on the website. Or if you just want the piano roll set up, I have that there as well. But with that being said, that's the end of this video. Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching learning reaper until next time people peace hey you yes you youtube wants you to watch this video next man go ahead and click it i'll wait <laughs> nah i'm just playing i'm not gonna keep waiting here all right i will see you in the next video though peace